Welcome to the party, pal. I'm Commander Tom, and today is Friendship Friday. I want to show you how to quickly, simply, and effectively get the hearts for the friends in Stardew Valley to unlock everything you need for them. It comes to no one surprise that Friendship Fridays revolves around the saloon. So while we're talking about this, anyone need a drink? Why don't you go ahead and get the beverage of your choice so you can enjoy this video with a smile on your face. Fair warning, though. The saloon does get pretty lively at night. Now, Friendship Friday revolves around the simple fact that the saloon, on Fridays, after 5 p.m., literally half the town shows up. All right? And the purpose of this video is to show you who will be there. Because if we know who will be there after 5 o'clock, we don't have to worry about them. And what we can do then is focus on who won't be there. Keep in mind, the importance of friendship is you unlock their doors, literally, that helps with a lot of quests. You get a lot of recipes and a lot of other benefits from them for the completionists out there. And plus, friendship points ultimately go towards the grandfather review at the end of year three. So friendship is a good thing. You can't just be an island unto yourself. So we want to know who will be at the saloon at Friday after 5, so we don't have to worry about them. We can focus on who won't be there, and then we can actually spend Friday visiting them before 5 o'clock. What you need, then, is a list. We're going to go ahead and divide the town into two groups. First, we're going to focus on the people who will not be at the saloon. I'm going to call them the townies. Everyone who does generally show up at the saloon after 5 o'clock on Friday, I call the saloon crew. We're going to go ahead then and, starting from the farm, kind of take the checklist of where you go and how you meet them. First, you're going to go ahead and run straight to the wizards. Then you're going to go all the way over to the museum and interrupt Penny's class to meet Jas, Vincent, and Penny. We'll go ahead then and uh, try to run over to Elliot, and then Haley usually meet as well as Josie. If you've unlocked it, go ahead and hop down into the sewers to meet Krobus. Then we'll be able usually to pick up Harvey and Caroline. I do run over to George's to uh, meet uh, Evelyn and Alex. Run up to hit Maru. You don't have to worry about Robert and Demetrius though. They do go to the bar. After Maru though, do go over to try to hook up with Linus. And if you've unlocked him, then go ahead and hit the dwarf. For the saloon crew, then, obviously Gus will be there, as will Emily. And let's be honest, does Pam ever leave? Leah does spin in. Don't give her a beer, though. Make sure you give her a salad. Advanced tip. Then we're looking at uh, Kent spins in. So does Lewis and Marnie. And if those two think that they're hiding anything, Lewis is daydreaming. Pierre comes in, as does Demetrius and Robin, like I said. Willie comes in, still stinking like a fish. Shane is there, and beer's his favorite, of course. And then, obviously, Shane, Clint, Abigail, Sebastian, Sam. Um, the kids are obviously over on the side playing pool. Clint will show up sheepishly. I usually try to make sure I've got a spare topaz to throw over to Clint. Take a screenshot as you'd like. Write this down. Note this down. Pause the video as you need. Let me show you how the video works. Obviously then, we are going to go ahead and start in the farm. And the first place we're going to head over to is the Wizards. Because he's really off here on the corner. So it makes sense to start him off. Plus you can actually access him early in the morning. While we're talking about uh, friendship on the walk over. Are we friends? Have you liked and subscribed? Maybe shared the, this video with someone else who wants to score friendship points? Let's be friendly. Additionally, depending on how detailed you want to go with your friendships, this is something that you may want to uh, plan ahead. If you notice, I picked up ice cream cones yesterday because it is summer and ice cream is a pretty popular. Uh, Friendship Friday Runs is also a good foraging opportunity. You're going to cover a lot of ground, so I'd keep some inventory open. Uh, not everyone likes ice cream, but it is pretty popular. It's right up there with beer. I usually try to uh, give most people an ice cream. <laughs> uh, I do love the wizard. And here we are. 
Many thanks. This item has some interesting properties. <laughs> no problem, Rasmodius. Uh, so from Rasmodius, then, we are going to go ahead and we are going to go and run all the way over to town, specifically to the museum, because a nice group of people you can hit is Penny's class, and we can interrupt them. Ooh, I'm early. I'm getting the students before they even get to class. No, I'm not going to eat the ice cream in front of them. Come on. Oh, I hate the interface sometimes. Just stop walking, dude. Oh, man, Mom's making lentil soup again. Here. Let me give you something better, then. Oh, thanks! Alright. And sometimes when you're running around, you can tell that uh, you'll run into the wagon. I picked up some niceties. I can do that. Uh, friendship run, usually for me, doesn't start up until about, uh, well, this time of uh, game. At least when I'm in summer. When I've got a good cash crop going in. Because I usually like to just buy some simple universal gifts. Let me go ahead and uh, take care of class. Ooh, I'm really early. Well, that's no problem. My mother used to drive the bus in the Calico Desert, but the bus stopped working a few years ago. Mary says there's not enough money in the town. Co <laughs> the more I read this, the more I get irked at the mayor. Here's your ice cream, though, Penny. <laughs> All right, now, Jazz should be coming here any time now. Where are we, little one? Already got you. Clint shows up at the bar, so I'm not going to worry about him. Here you are. I knew you were coming. I know everything. There we are. I love presents. Thank you. I love points. Thank you. And again, Lewis goes to the bar, so not worried about him. Next, make a quick stop into uh, George. Make sure you can get both George. Thank you. And the lovely Evelyn. Oh, it looks wonderful. Thank you. You are very welcome. Then I'm going to head on over to Pierre's. Whoop, hang on. You. Hi. Hello. <laughs> no, I'm not going to eat the ice cream in front of her. But I am going to give it to Jody. Makes my day really special. Great. Never be bashful about hitting Pierre's. It's a great place to hit because of the shopping factor. People will be here. Like my man Harvey. Oh, you don't like ice cream. You gotta prove me wrong, don't you? Okay. <laughs> he likes coffee. I forgot. All right. Is Carolyn in here? I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'll meet up with her later. Okay. No problem. No problem. Um, if you're really trying to score points with some of the ladies, there's also the exercise class on Tuesday, but this is Friday. By the Fountain is often a really great place to uh, meet Haley, kind of reflecting the pool or something. After Pierre, come on up to uh, the north of town here. I'm going to go on over to the edge here and uh, hook up Linus. Hey, buddy. Please don't destroy my tent. Dude, I love you, man. No worries. It's happened before, and I'm sorry that's happened before. Here's an ice cream, Elise. Great gift, thank you. And since I'm over here, now, when you're up here, if you've got him unopened, or if you have him open, this would be a good time to hit the dwarf. I don't have him open in this playthrough yet, so I'm going to go ahead and spin in here. My focus is Maru. Robin and Demetrius, don't worry, they're part of the saloon crew, but let's go ahead and get a gift to their daughter. I'm just going to do this behind your back, Dad, don't worry. Used to work at the clinic yesterday. Not a single patient. I guess people get sick less during the summer. Not summer of 2020! This is a super gift. Thank you! No problem. I'll take care of you here while I'm there. Just to show you you can do it. Take a look back here, see if there's anyone else while I'm here. Hey, go downstairs. Is he here? Oh, I'm not friends enough with them yet. Okay, that's right. And that's part of the reason why I like to do the friendship run, is to get these doors open so I can meet them when I need to. And before you actually slip into the saloon, there we see Carolyn. I knew she'd be walking around here. Oh, goodness, are you sure? Yes, take the ice cream, enjoy, and thank you. Now let's actually go inside. You can see the party starting to hustle. Obviously, when you get into the bar, step on up to the register, and... okay. There we are. 
There we are. You're gonna want to get some supplies. Now you can go cheap and get buy bread. Usually at this point I've got some decent cash flow going on. Grab a coffee for Harvey. Remember, he doesn't like ice cream. Get him a coffee. Grab a salad for Leah. Uh, she prefers that as well. In fact, that's her favorite. So you might as well just go ahead and get super bonus points and give her her favorite since you're going to buy stuff from here anyway and she's going to be here. And just get that going quicker. This is usually one of the things I do. Uh, yes, I know I need a kitchen. <laughs> Working on it. Um, I tr I usually wind up marrying Leia because my hearts accumulate faster because I keep buying her favorite here. And then you're going to buy some beers. All right. Positive energy from this vibe. Yes, yes. Hey, Pam, would you perhaps maybe want a beer? <laughs> All righty. And uh, kind of bounce around a little bit. I like to do ice cream when I have it in stock, except for the people who really want beer. How'd you know? Beer is Shane's favorite, of course. Willie needs a beer, too. Willie does not like ice cream. Pierre needs to be happy, whichever way you do it. Alrighty. Elliot phases back and forth whether he shows up at the bar, so... Excellent. Alright. And, again, these two aren't hiding anything. Where's the mayor think he's, you know, hiding anything? Alright, so we kind of just keep going down the line, just hitting them up. Interesting specimen, I love that. Alright. This crew over here, this is the junk food crew. So, ice cream works right now, pizza works great for them, just for reference. And, of course, bring uh, amethyst or quartz for Abigail. She's the rock star. Um, occasionally, you will need to wait for Clint or for someone, but let me show you one or two tricks that maybe you didn't catch here. Every once in a while, there's a quest request for Joja Cola. This is where you can buy one. And, of course, if you want to kill some time or get better for Abigail's sake, you can play the Prairie King right here anytime you want. And just to show you a couple of... I'm not horrid at this. I usually just try to get myself into the corner and really try to get the three-way firing going. Don't be afraid to move. I'm trying to talk while I'm shooting at this. Where's my diagonal? There we are. Okay. Uh, come on. This reminds me almost a little bit of a game called Centipede from the Atari system. Uh, anyone else remember that? Comment down below. Um, but I'm not going to fib at how much time I've put into this game is probably embarrassing. But if you're looking for a new game to play and you haven't, uh, you know, beat at least the first level of uh, Prairie King, I'd encourage you to. It's actually kind of fun. Come on. Of course, you'll have to boot up Stardew Valley to get to it, but... Oh, Star. Good, good, good. Yeah, there, there, there are some power-ups and stuff, if you didn't know. The wagon wheel is my favorite, because this is what happens here. You know, get it, get into the middle, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Grab power-ups. It gets to be fun. Okay, we're off. Darn. Oh, good. The lightning bolt. Death touch. Death touch. <laughs> touch of death. Touch of death. Uh, I do like the shotgun technique. I like blowing everything up. This game, it, for a side game, for a mini game, I'm actually quite impressed by uh, Prairie King. It's actually quite solid. Okay. Okay. Hey! First level cleared, I think. Sweet. I'm fuzzy on this is if this is the entire first level or if this is like just the stage for it, but you know. Now because of the barricades here, I'm never super great in this one, but you know, I don't recall many people showing this too much, so it, yeah, dang it. Okay, uh let's try this again. Come on. Shoot, come on. Okay. Ah. Like I said, once I get into like closer quarters and I like the open field, it's not the fort here, it drives me crazy. But that's the level I am. I'll be honest, I've, like I said, never beaten this level. <laughs> but I thought this would at least be uh, entertaining. Hey, if you like how I die, leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> I drop videos like this every week. There we are. Am I out of lives yet? Game over. Yep.
Well, Prairie King may be over, but Stardew still lives on. And with any luck, uh, the tips and tricks I've given you here will hopefully help you become the most popular man in town. If this helped you out, or if it just made you smile, leave a like and subscribe. I drop videos like this each week. If you want to see more, that's what the playlists are for. And if you already watched all of that, I've got something special just for you. I'm Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Thanks.